Check it out. First person at the boat ramp. Love these mornings like this. Welcome to another episode of Forgotten Coast Fishing. My name's David and I fish inshore and offshore here in the Panhandle of Florida, showing you what I do to find and catch fish. If that sounds appealing, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. That helps me to continue to create these videos. So it's late December. It's actually kind of a warmer day. It's only 51 degrees right now. We've got a lot of cloud cover, but we had a full moon last night, so we've got a strong tide. So we're gonna get out in the Grady offshore, just really trying to put some things in the box, which maybe include um, a trigger fish. We've got a few days left in, in that season. We could maybe even pull up a flounder, maybe even some white trout, some bee liners, who knows? Well, why don't you join me in the Grady? We'll get offshore and see what we can put in the box. All right, we got out to our first reef, so I'm just gonna drop down some simple frozen pieces of shrimp on this chicken rig. And this is a 30 pound chicken rig with a four ounce bank sinker at the end with three alt circle hooks with a swivel at the top to a 30 pound braid. This is a pin battle 5000 and this is a Talus PX medium heavy reel. So we're just gonna drop this down and see you know if we can catch anything see what things are looking like down there and just kind of go from there oh okay got him man i was thinking you know i was too far from the reef i was about a minute or two without any bites whatsoever then something just kind of came up and snatched it Let's see what we've got oh man oh i thought it was a beeliner at first but a little red snapper these are out of season, obviously, and he's probably a little too small. Little red snapper, let's get him back. Yeah, I thought that was a beeliner at first. That would have been something we could put in the box, but not a red snapper today. And this is actually just some shrimp left over from an inshore trip. I've just started saving all my live shrimp after an inshore fishing trip and just use it out here. Shrimp's kind of tough to stay on a hook once it's been frozen. But if you can kind of find some hard spots and things, it'll kind of work for you. And like everywhere, shrimp can be a very effective bait. You see, these are kind of the smaller ones we had left over, but that's okay. We'll just take the head off and just feed the hook from where the head was down back to the tail. And there's a little hard spot right where that tail meets the body if you can get in that spot then it'll kind of hold a little better all right let's try this side of the boat again okay got him again that's encouraging second drop second fish And what is this? A tom tape and a little sand perch. Look at this guy. He's got these nice fluorescent blue lines on them, some yellow on them. They're really long and slender. But look at that. Pretty fish. All right, let's get him back. Okay. Here's another one, a little bigger than that sand perch, but. Third drop, third fish. All right, well, let's see what we got here. Oh, two. Oh, we got our sand perch again and a pig fish. Look at that. So we've caught three species on three different drops. All right, let's get these guys back. Okay, well, we know there's fish here. I'd obviously much rather catch something a little bigger and obviously something for the box than these little guys I'm catching. All right, so I'm at my second reef and I'm showing some good marks. This is just the shrimp on the chicken rig that I've been using. But on this line over here, I set out a, a circle hook jig. There's a tom tape. Just because I was seeing some stuff 
kind of midway up and that's going to kind of slowly fall it's only an ounce weight so it's going to kind of sink a little slower but it's eventually going to get to the bottom where there are some marks as well so just seeing if that'll pick up something on its own but here's a little tom tape you know you could keep these for um grouper amberjack big snapper that kind of thing i'm not gonna keep those because we're really not going to target those right now all right so what i'm doing with this circle hook jig is i'm i've casted it out and i've let out a lot of a lot of line because i want to let it sink since we're in 70 feet of water so i want to you know eventually get it to the bottom instead of just kind of coming back and hanging on the bottom of the boat so that's why i want to put a lot of line out so it'll reach the bottom and so what i've got on this on this circle hook jig is a a half of a, a cigar minnow all right so we'll keep an eye on that and we'll get back to this chicken rig i always like to put out a couple things especially when i'm by myself kind of get something out there that can kind of sit you know while you do something else um, actively and that'll just increase obviously your chances for some fish all right so here's something a little better i think on this chicken roll oh, yeah it kind of gave up a little bit but let's see all right oh a lane snapper we got something for the box everybody this is a nice one now lane snapper don't usually get really big and this isn't the biggest one out there and i've caught a little bit bigger before but this is a nice lane snapper nice lane snapper these are really good really good eating so let's get him in the box they've got some really nice colors on them that yellow stripes and the orange and the red just beautiful looking fish all right oh let's see if we got this fish too all right i think we got him all right we got him we got him here comes some drag and everything all right so this is a pretty hefty piece of cigar minnow so hopefully attracted something on a larger side he doesn't really feel monstrous by any means but like i was saying get a couple things out if you can just to increase your chances so we caught that lane snapper and immediately got a red snapper but like i said earlier he's not in season we won't be able to keep him he might have made the legal limit as it is but he's not in season so we need to let him go all right well we got some action here that's for sure all right and this shrimp is deadly every single drop is a fish not monsters but a fish it's kind of hoping for maybe another lane beeliner trigger fish but not a red snapper not this time of year anyway oh yeah here we go y'all all right here we go all right snapper i'll get you in just a second let's just see what this is maybe another red snapper pulling them up fairly easily yep just another red snapper all right well got red snapper everywhere let's let's get this one back all right there you go all right all right let's get this one off all right there you go wow a lot of action a lot of action now what i did with that circle hook jig that last time i actually didn't put out as much line because i'm starting to show some some markings um about two-thirds of the way down so i actually didn't want it to sink down to the bottom you know because when it gets down to the bottom you're going to get trigger fish if they're there or they're you know smaller fish that'll just kind of eat that bait up and not get hooked and we're trying to target the bigger fish in the water in the upper water column so let's try that again all right here we go again all right we're getting the sun out and everything oh this feels like some decent weight to it for this little lighter rig here Oh, another red snapper man this reef is full of red snapper 
full of red snapper. Oh, oh man. Let's see if we got him. Oh, he got off. Give us time to get this guy off. All right. Oh man. All right, here's the biggest one on the chicken rig today, that's for sure. All right. Yeah, this is definitely the biggest one on the chicken rig today. All right, come on, big lane snapper. Come on, big keeper trigger. All right, what are you? What have we got here? Come on, big lane. Big trigger. What are you going to be? Oh, man. Grouper and a snapper. Check this out, everybody. Check it out. Gag grouper and a red snapper. Check that out. That's cool. Unfortunately, we can't keep either one of them. But that's a pretty cool catch right there. Man, that is a pretty cool catch. Wow. No wonder it felt so heavy. All right, let's get these guys off. All right, check this guy out. Gag grouper. He's not a keeper size, nor is he in season. So let's get him back. There he goes. All right. Whoa, another snapper. Come on, buddy. There you go. All right, well, that was cool getting that grouper and red snapper on the same chicken rig and, and a light chicken rig, too. That's light wire, three alt circle hooks, and just 30 pound test. So it's not the biggest rig out there, but you know, it pulled those fish out nicely. Well, let's get these rigs out here while they're biting. Oh, oh, man. Yeah, this thing just came up and just snatched it. I had one hit and I thought maybe my shrimp was gone. But this is a decent fish. Yeah, he just came up and just grabbed it. Oh man, it's a trigger fish. Trigger fish, but he's going to be too little. Let's actually kind of good we're getting trigger fish. Usually I complain about these guys because that's all you catch. But we would like to get a keeper before the season ends in a couple days but i don't think he's going to be a keeper we'll measure him just to be sure yeah he's just 13 inches so a little bit too small there you go oh man i thought that was thunder that's just our jets from tyndall air force base boy for a second i thought whoa man i'm in a terrible storm all of a sudden This was my first drop without catching a fish on this chicken rig. And it's 11.33 in the morning. And I've been fishing uh, for about three hours or so. And he just got my, I, you know, and I could have left it even longer. Cause look, I still had a piece of shrimp on the top one. I just got anxious. All right, here we go. Oh man, we got him this time. Yeah, these fish, assuming it's a red snapper again. And just come up and just snatch this just out of the blue bam you got him maybe it's our trigger maybe it's our keeper trigger no oh, red snapper red snapper a little bigger red snapper well this guy would be a keeper if he was in season yep he would have been legal he's 18 inches but let's get him back there you go dude oh here we go here we go we got him all right yeah we got him here about the same size as the others maybe a touch oh yeah maybe a touch bigger all right all right red snapper okay these are fun to catch and everything look at that loop in the mouth there that's why you want to keep pressure on these guys oh here we go now put some squid on this one just to change it up a little bit see if we can attract a trigger but let's see what we ended up and oh well it worked Squid got the trigger. Now he's not a keeper, but that's exactly what I was trying to do. All right, come on, Mr. Trigger. 
Now I know he's too short. Oh, oh man. All right, here's a good one on the chicken rig. This is probably the second best one of the day or the second heaviest feeling one of today anyway, besides that double grouper red snapper we had earlier. Let's see what it is. Come on, something for the box. Come on, something for the box. Oh man, double red snapper. That's why it felt so good. Oh man, there's snapper everywhere. All right. All right, so I'm gonna do something totally different. I'm gonna set down this double drop rig with jig heads on it with little soft plastic on it. Now these are quarter ounce jig heads and this right here is a trout trick um, by Z-Man in the root beer slash chartreuse color. So it's got a root beer body and that chartreuse tail. And then on the other one, I've got this four inch Z-Man scented paddle tail in the Houdini color, um, scented paddler Z. So we're just gonna kind of drop this down. It's gonna take a minute or two to get down to the bottom. We're showing a lot of good marks. I'm just gonna kind of jig this, kind of like a vertical jig. And I don't know what this will catch, but you know, there are white trout out here in different places and flounder, and it could pull up this red snapper. I don't really know. I just kind of want to give it a shot and see what kind of inshore tackle can do down here in this uh, depth of water. Oh man, right off the bat. <laughs> oh, oh man, oh look at this. Oh man, it's the biggest one of the day. This is the biggest fish of the day on these inshore paddle tails. Oh, is he gonna get me in a reef? Wow, this is just 30 pound. Oh, he got off and he broke. Oh man, what an exciting few seconds there. Holy cow. Well, I was not knowing what to expect with that, those paddle tails, but that was, <laughs> that was the biggest fish of the day. Well, I'm gonna rig that up again. I don't know if that was a fluke or whatever's down there really likes that or not, but I'm gonna rig up something, the same thing again, except I'm gonna use maybe 40 pound leader instead of 30 because he got me down in the reef really quickly. Um, actually, since I got a re-rig, I'm gonna go to my bigger spinning tackle, my uh, Pin Battle 6000 with 40 pound braid on it and a, um, and a heavy powered rod since, you know, that picked up something bigger. Hopefully we can do that again. All right. All right, here we go with our bigger rig set up. Same, same paddle tails, same jig heads, but just a little big, bigger outfit, bigger leader. This is 40 pound leader as opposed to 30. So hopefully, hopefully we'll grab that thing that we had before. Have no idea what it was. Just be interested to see what it was. I didn't probably work it, but one or two times Oh, oh, okay. I got him again. Got him again. I don't think he's our monster like we had before, but man, he does have some decent weight to him. And these are little light, you know, tackle inshore jig heads. Hooks aren't going to be that big. Now, this is not as near as big as what we had a second ago, but the red snapper, red snapper like inshore jig heads and plastic paddle tails. Yeah, he's not definitely not the size of that one that that broke off. But hey, that's kind of cool, isn't it? Catching a snapper on inshore setup. There you go. He'll get down there one way or the other. Interesting though, he got the um the white paddle tail. And I put two different colors on there just because I wasn't sure. You know, obviously a light colored and then a dark color. But this was the one that's on the bottom too. So that may play some role into it. I'm not sure. But let's, let's give it a shot again. And now what I'm doing, you know, since this is just a total 
half ounce weight between the two quarter ounce jig heads you know it's, they're going to sink real slowly especially in this deeper water so i've given it a lot of time to sink to the bottom the reef's kind of over here somewhere so i kind of cast it that way let it sink down and then once it kind of gets tight i'm just kind of pulling back and then letting it sink and then once my line kind of gets tight again i'm just going to pull again so that's just going to kind of have those lures kind of popping up you know and slowly coming down and popping up and slowly coming down and uh hopefully that'll attract another fish here oh oh i got him all right all right yeah another decent one another decent one that's for sure all right i worked i started working it a little faster but i still want it you know to sink so it wasn't too much faster but i was working it a little bit faster and i don't know if that played any difference another red snapper on the white paddle tail again the slam shady z-man paddle tail all right i hate to leave fish biting but i'm gonna switch to another reef just because all we're catching really for the most part is red snapper and you know we can't keep them there's no point in bringing those guys up caught a couple trigger fish but doesn't seem like there's a whole lot of them down here and they were all kind of small so we're gonna make a move and we'll see at our new reef okay got him got him got him got him all right so this is our first drop really well really second drop at our second reef here and we've got something decent here i'm still trying to position myself over the reef as you can see it's really calmed down and i'm not getting you know much drifting because there's, there's not a lot of wind to push me back so it's taking me slow long time to get on the reef but moved out another few miles and we're still getting red snapper look what showed up these are beautiful creatures and everything but once they show up to your boat and you start catching fish they're going to rip your fish off the hook and it's really hard to get fish in oh here he is y'all all right here he is all right now the dolphin seems to be kind of far off so i don't want to hoss these guys up unless i have to because you know you can often tear their mouth working so hard to get them up oh man i hate to complain about red snapper but kind of starting to complain about red snapper oh look here they come all right all right let's see if we can get him up he feels like a decent one mm, yeah he feels like a decent one oh man if we don't get that dolphin because when they're heavier like this it takes more work to get them up more time to get them up and it gives the dolphin a little more chance to get over here oh man it's our trigger fish oh let's see if he's a keeper oh man that would be great if he was our keeper i think he's going to be our keeper i think he's going to be our keeper all right we managed to get him up past the dolphin all right we got our 15 inch trigger fish well let's get this guy in the box and we managed to keep them away from the dolphin who are just right there you can see their wake well that was a feat in itself getting this guy up okay all right here he is again no another decent one. Oh man here comes a dolphin oh i don't i got a lot of time oh i don't have a lot of time oh man oh come on we can get him up oh can we get him up oh man that was a shark holy cow we barely got that man we barely got this trigger up jeez i was worried about the dolphins man there he is right there look at that shark
He's definitely wanting this trigger fish. Man. All right. Little trigger fish. He's almost a keeper, but we've got our keeper anyway. Dolphins are over there, so I'm going to let him go over here. All right, I'm going to go ahead and head on in. We had a you know real productive day today. Just caught a lot of fish. Too bad most of them were red snapper, and we had to throw them back. But you know, even if they were in season, they would have probably been too small. But you know, it was just a lot of action and a lot of fun today. We did get that keeper lane snapper and that keeper trigger fish. You know, right here before the season closed, so that was nice. But you know, we just kind of took advantage of this nice winter day when we were able to get out and enjoy ourselves and have a great day fishing. So if you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing to this channel. It really helps me to continue to create these videos. So until next time, hope to see you on another episode of Forgotten Coast Fishing. Mm -hmm.